Hello, how are you? My name is Chris Quinlan, and uh, welcome to Melbourne Musos, the drum show. What I'm doing here is, uh, just for disclosure, I love my DW drum set. I've had this uh, beautiful set of DW drums since 1997, uh, and um, it's fairly huge. I've built it up a bit. I don't cert I certainly don't take it out on the local pub gig, but um, I do use it for clinics and things like that, and of course here, so it's a little bit more like my workstation here. Um, I play these beautiful minor cymbals, and um, they're gorgeous. Uh, I have um, extra Byzance Extra Dries, and I'm very much loving at the moment the Sand series, put together by famous uh, drummer Benny Greb, and uh, there you are, designed by him. I'll talk about all of this in a minute. And drum skins, uh, Evans, uh, Evans drum heads, I've been playing them forever. Once again, since 1997. Uh, and at the moment, I've got them covered completely with Evans G1, Evans G1 drum heads coated level 360. There's something about this level 360 that's special. It just improves the range and all of that of the drums. I'll be getting into that a little bit in a minute as well. And um, I'll play for you in a second, but to finish off, everything I hit is with Promark sticks. And because what I do with my drumming, I do, I do one of everything. I, I just love the sound of drums. Um, I go a bit crazy with it sometimes, but it's a labour of love. And so one of the main sticks I use um, is uh, this particular one, a Promark SD7, which is a multi-stick. It's got a mallet on one end because sometimes I get a little bit tribal, let's say. I need more cut, what I'll do is I'll go to the tip. So I suppose I'm drumming now. Well, I'm not, a, I'm not supposing I am. Now, so this doesn't turn out into shameless plugging of just equipment and all of that, I do want to teach you something or try and pass on some information. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to play um, a rock beat. I have a big bass drum sound at the minute, I don't know, bottom. What it also does is when I'm actually playing more classical stuff, that big bass drum sound that I especially love with classical composers like Dmitry Shostakovich. Now this is a basic drum beat. Now, one of the most uh, loved rudiments in the world is a paradiddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left. as a basic coordination study, so you can get that right to the left hand kind of thing. Right, left, right, left. I just used it then. Now, how I'm playing this rock beat is in quavers, half a bit each, or eight notes, one and two. So, if I put in a paradiddle, a sixteenth notes, one e and a two e and a three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three and a four, one e and a two e and a three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three and a four. Bang! I have a nice little kind of variation on this rock beat. If I do that, come from land and lives and stuff. Immigrant song. 
Led Zeppelin, 1970. Led Zeppelin's third album, track one. Now, this takes a bit of work, but what I'm doing now is when I put in a paradiddle, 16th notes, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a right hand on a 20 inch vinyl sand ride, left hand on a DW stainless steel snare, 14 by 6.5 with the snares off at this stage, with an accent on two and four, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a Bass drum in on one, one and a two in and three, sorry about that. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a then I start adding other bass drums. If I put it on every one, it might be a bit too much for some funky things, but that's essentially what it is for him so. going in its quavers. Because when his big 24 inch cymbal was getting all washy, the hi-hat still gave um, Led Zeppelin's beat, you know, that definition. And it gave his own playing so much more balance, I suppose. You know? When I go to the bottom lick of the century. That's what could happen with that, you see. It's just a Flash a bit, give it a different thing. Back into it, back to normal rock bit. Just paddling on it, you hear that? about a basic rock beat is of course get the feel it's one of the most important things when when you're learning first beginning drums count out aloud get over the embarrassment get over the it's not cool man and don't get into this one and two four and one and two and three and four and one it if you need to. One and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and three. Even if you get all grunty. metronome 
get an inbuilt clock. And then what happens is I'm coming back to the hi hat now. The most basic thing with a hi hat is just to do that thing and just play along. My name is Chris Quinlan. Um, everything that I'm playing today is on a DW drum set um, covered by Evans G1 Level 360 drum skins. 
All the cymbal sounds are courtesy of Meinl, and everything that I hit them with is with Promark. Okay. Uh, without those four companies, um, I wouldn't be able to do what I've been able to do, if you know what I mean. So I'd like to thank each one of those companies very, very much um, for helping me bring this bit of educational stuff to you. I hope you've gotten something out of it. As I said, my name is Chris Quinlan. My show is Melbourne Musos, the drum show. And uh, these particular uh, little clips that I'm doing are for you all on YouTube and Facebook. Okay, catch you next clip. <laughs>